School's back at Ole Miss. The stadium is prepped and ready for opening day against the raging Cajuns. Campus is already buzzing, even before the first lectures begin. But for many on the football team, class is already in session. It started on Sunday morning. Would a mere man say, I am the way, I am the truth and the life, and no one comes to the Father God except through me? The Christian service takes place in a team room on a public university. We're talking about misconceptions. It's attended by head football coach Hugh Freeze and promoted on social media for anyone who wants to come. Even though there's coaches, even though we have the FCA program that obviously speaks very heavily in the area of Christianity and speaks for it, it's all strictly optional, um, but it is going to be provided. And I ask that you bless each and every person who is in this room today. Would you let me pray? Amen. It helps us grow um, as a family, and it just helps us grow as, as men as well. No one here tries to force religion onto you. You know what I mean? They just kind of make you aware and just leave it up to you whether or not you want to be a part of the FCA. The game of football itself teaches you so much about life. Uh, you can do everything in the right way and the outcome still not be in your favor. Do all the practices, all the camps, put in all the hard work, be a better team and yet still lose the game. And as long as there are student groups meeting on your campus, that FCA has that same right to meet. There are certain lines that just can't be crossed, but then when you involve student groups, it, the lines become a little bit blurred. Old Miss and any other sort of publicly funded state university is sort of the same thing as the government, as the state. We make sure it's done in accordance to the law. Uh, we're not here to try to go against the law. You may say, well, John, you're pretty passionate about trying to defend Christ. I'll tell you why I'm pretty passionate. You know, I was a college football player myself. Had suffered an injury um, that kept me from playing. And I went through depression. I went through doubts. I wish that we'd have had somebody on my team, um, on our coaching staff, that I could have came to and just said, hey, you know, I'm struggling with these problems, these issues. Can you help? And we didn't have anybody. And I'm just a nobody trying to tell anybody about somebody who can save everybody. Yeah, man. Have a great day and be blessed. Yeah. So live for Jesus today. Yeah.